Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This has been a long time coming. I have been missing in action, kind of, sort of, not a lot, but maybe like three weeks, you know, in a December month. Um, and there's a reason for it. I first want to say thank you for joining me again. Thanks for coming back to watch my videos. Um, I miss you guys. I really miss vlogging. I really miss doing videos. Um, so in this video, I will share with you what happened in December and how my new year has been going as, as well as, um, how have things been going in the location that I moved to? So stay tuned for this video. Watch to the end. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Like this video. Okay? All right. So in December, I was hired um, for a position and I accepted. I mentioned in a short that I did um, maybe a week ago. That sometimes when we plan stuff, it may not be the right time. God didn't say no. It just may not be the right time. So you have to keep keep on doing what you're doing because bills don't stop. Um, kids got to get fed. You know, all of that stuff that life brings us. So I started working. And when I started working, it hit me like a, it hit me like a ton of bricks, but in a good way. Yeah, I was tired. I was exhausted. Everything you could name, I was that when it came to the workload. Um, my phone didn't stop ringing. You know, my in the month of December, that was the most my phone ever rung. That was the most text messages I ever got. That was the most activity period that my phone ever got was in the month of December. I kid you not. Um, but I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I was able to do things uh, more, um, you know, than prior to, you know, with this new position. Has it been a lot? It has been a lot. Taking on a new position is overwhelming. You can be excited about it at first because um, I was really excited about it um, going into it. And as time progressed, oh, it got it got to be overwhelming. And that's just, that can be with anything. That can be with a relationship. That could be with a friendship. That could be with anything, you know? So um, here I am today. Um, I said, I'm going to, I'm going to make a video tonight. I'm going to make it and um, just share my journey, you know, um, from December to now um, for the weeks or for the time that I haven't been recording. Um, I've been working every shift, first, second, and third shift. Can you imagine your body going through all of that motion and, um, still trying to be yourself mentally? It is, it was hard and it, it is, it, it still is hard, but, um, I rest in knowing that God is with me through everything. Um, just like I always say, God, when you take one step, God will absolutely take the, take the next step for you. He will be there with you. It's about the effort and the effort that I have been putting in has been overwhelming, but nonetheless, I'm grateful for it. You know, um, how have I been doing with my location here? Um, where I moved to, it has been absolutely great. I am still enjoying where I moved to, where we moved to. I'm still enjoying it nonetheless. Um, there is so much here to do. There is so much to explore. Um, there's never a dull moment here. If you're that type of person that wants to get out and be out and, you know, be out and about um, at any time, there's always something here to do. So I'm still enjoying um, that part of this um living process um i'm thankful for it how have i been doing mentally outside of the job so i told you um for those of you have that have been with me throughout this journey since i started my platform i told you that i would always be honest with you 
Um, hold on just a second. Let me turn on this fan. Okay, so if you hear a little noise, that's just my fan. I had to turn it on. And I may have mentioned about the fan in uh, a few of my videos, but baby, that fan is uh it's gotta it's gotta it's gotta run it's gotta do what it do i was about to tell you how am i doing mentally and i told you that i would always be honest with you um no matter what mentally i am blessed and i am saved by the grace of god because let me tell you about this perimenopause it's not talked about a lot but i feel like those of us that go through it should share about this process because it's not an easy one. Oh my goodness you you're hot you're irritated you're exhausted way more than the norm and I told you I just started a new job exhausted is not the word drained burned out I, I'm burned out and I just started the job. But this goes with the menopause, the perimenopause. Nobody never told me that it was going to be this bad. I am so serious. And I pray for every female that's going that's out there that's going through it because it is not easy. If you're if you're married, if you're in a committed relationship or whatever relationship that you're in and 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 you don't know whether you're going to be hot this minute or cold the next minute. Just extend the person that you're with some grace. Yeah, y'all might have to be in separate rooms. But I tell you, this thing is serious. It is so serious. And I don't think there's medications for it. I think there are some things to maybe calm it down. But I'm the type of person that I don't like taking a whole lot of stuff. And I don't know anything about um, how it's going to make me feel. Or if it's going to make you have hair growing out of your eyeballs. Or out of your ear sockets or in places that you don't want hair to be growing yeah that part so i choose to start going to the gym more i choose to start working on my I'm sorry guys i apologize i had to free up some space on my phone here yes i record on my phone um but i was saying uh about the menopause how how have i been doing with this menopause um this pre-menopause thing no, I know I don't look old enough to be going through menopause, and I'm, I said it, but yeah, um, yeah, um, it's, it's really rough. It's, it's challenging. Um, you're exhausted from not getting any sleep because the, your body is hot one minute and you're freezing cold the next minute. Well, that's how it hits me. And like I was saying, I don't want to get on any meds to cause another thing to go on within my body um i i just don't and oh god just keep your hand on me because this is this is rough it is absolutely rough um i'm trying to think of some other things that i um uh, that i've been going through or, or i may have as far as my grandkids and the custody thing that uh, we have been, we have been going through just like I thought it would. Everything happened just the way that I knew it would because we didn't do anything wrong. You know, it was just a thing that happened and we went through it and we got over it and we're here. My grandbabies are fine. Um, my, my daughter's fine. I'm, I'm fine. Um, life just, life just life sometimes and and there's nothing you can do about it. You know, um, you just got to you just got to hold on and trust the process. Is trusting the process easy? No, it is absolutely not easy. It's not easy at all. Um, let me be the first to tell you, if anybody else hasn't told you. And it's 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 so easy to say trust the process. And I'm ministering to myself. It can be difficult, but it can be done. Because I'm going to tell you, 2023 for me was a year that built my faith muscles. Would I change anything about the year 2023? No, I absolutely would not. And I'm going to tell you, it was a rough year. Um, and for every video that I made concerning God, 
It was all true. It was all real. None of what I said was something that I got on here and made up because that's something I would never do. God took me through so I could get through. He took me through what I needed to get through so I could share with others, so I could share with you, letting you know that trust in the process is a real thing. And when you look back over that, that, that time and that moment that you've gone through, you'll know it was him. You'll know it was nobody but him. Um, as long as, I, I feel like as long as we're living, we're going to always go through something. It's just how you get through it. If, this is, if, if that's something that you've gone through before, um, you can just look at it and say, well, I've gone through that before. Um, let me just move on and get that under my feet because life is going to life and life will happen. There's going to be some good days. There's going to be some bad days. And, you know, for me, I can honestly say that when God shows up, the good outweighs the bad. And, and one thing I can say again, there is no way that you can duck life. There is no easy route to get through life. So I want to encourage you that when you're praying, you know, I know I had to get I had to get to that point because, you know, sometimes, you know, we, when you don't know better, you don't know. Um, you don't want to ask God to take away the bad things um, so that you don't have to go through them. I, I think I tried that a lot in my life, but I didn't I didn't know. I didn't know that once you go ahead on and walk through the fire, you you you've done you've done you've done your duty to walk through the fire, walk through the flood, so you can get to the other side, so you know how to handle things in life better. Do we wanna go through these things? No. We just simply have to. You can't duck them, you can't dodge them. You you just you just cannot, and um. One of the most hurtful things is seeing your 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 children go through, or seeing your family go through, and one thing I can say, through it all, I thank God so much for taking me what I went through because it taught me how to pray more, it taught me how to pray over my family and everything that's connected to me more, um. Now, I truly, truly, truly am grateful for that. I am. Um, but yeah, um, let me stop at this moment and ask you, how have, how have you been doing? Have you been doing okay? Have you been getting out of the house when, you know, when, it was, when it's possible? Have you been getting some sunshine when it's possible? Um, have you been making up your bed? Well, my bed, I was, I was in it. <laughs> I was in my bed, um, and it's um, and it's nighttime. But yeah, I'm, I make my bed. Um, but yeah, those are the. I just want to make sure you guys are are doing good mentally because I love you. Um, there hasn't been look. There's been so many days where I was so exhausted and wanted to pick up this phone and record. But I was so exhausted and so mentally tired and mentally drained. Oh my God. Um, I I barely have the energy to to be with my grandkids the way I want to be with them because they know I'm silly and I like to have fun with them. But God, I'm not going to sit up here and try to make up anything um, to sugarcoat how I've been trying to get through. All I can say is, but God, this is, this is tough. This is tough. And then, you know, um, life doesn't stop. That clock doesn't stop. It doesn't stop for you. It doesn't stop for me. It stops for no one. It keeps right on going. It keeps right on going. This video might be all over the place because, um, baby, sometimes that's how I feel. All over the place. But I did want to get over here and just let you know that I'm back, that I love you. And um, I just had to get over that hump. And and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be more consistent with my content. Um, like I said, the new job, it just... It just, it just hit me hard. And yeah, um, so with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. Um, I love you guys. And remember that slow progress is still progress. 
no matter what. I'm going to be doing more footage. Um, I've started my um, my journey back into the gym. I'll include a clip um, or two in this video. But I've started that journey back and, and I'll start recording more um, about my journey in the gym and, you know, different things like that. We went today and um, it may, it just makes me feel good. You know, it, it just does. And I, I pray that I can be a motivation this year as much as I could last year. So stay with me, okay? I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.